Okay, so how's it going everyone? Vertic Designs here and for this video I'm going to show you the latest version of Vegas Pro 20. So the first change that you'll notice straight away is the icon has now changed. So the logo has a different look to it and of course the loading screen also has a different picture. However, once you load it up into Vegas Pro, you will notice that the UI is exactly the same. There's no changes, it looks exactly the same as Vegas Pro 19. So the first change that we're going to talk about is of course the color grading. I feel like this one is everyone's favorite. So if you left click on your video, drag this into the timeline, you can press Alt and G to bring up the color grading. So the first little change is not a massive one, but you can now see which specific video you've applied your color grading onto. Now the next one is the utilities tab. This used to be called input slash output, and now it is called utilities. So if you left click in here, it will give you all of your normal and regular options, such as levels, brightness, so much more. And now you also have a white balance control. So if you wanted to, you can play about with the temperature. If you want it nice and warm, you can move it and shift it over to the left side. And then of course, you can also have a tint depending on your preference, if you want it to have a more of a purple slash pinkish color to it. Moving over to the right side, we also now have a hue, saturation and luminosity curves. So before it was only the controls, but now you have a more fancy look to it. And if you wanted to, you can left click on here to shift on over to the other colors. You can then double left click on the line to get yourself the first point. With this first point, you can move it over, up, down, left, right, as normal. You also have the position, where it is, the location. And of course, if you double left click again, you can get yourself another point. Now with this point, we can bend this one and give it a really nice curve onto here like so. If you wanted to, you can even use the select natural tone. And what this will do is it will allow you to sample a color and it will automatically adjust it depending on what you've just clicked on. The next change is the new transitions that have been added. So if you get yourself another clip, drag this in, and if you go over to the transitions, you will notice if you type in GL, you will now see a whole new tab with more and new transitions. The one that I found really cool and really interesting is definitely the wind. It looks really cool and I would definitely consider using this in the future. So if you get yourself the transition, apply it onto your clips, you can then have a look at it, see what it looks like. And as you can see already by default, it looks really cool. But the main improvement for this is that you can now also edit the transition speed. You can make them faster, slower, or even reverse them. By default, you will have the size of it and this will allow you to change how much you want it to apply. But if you click on the transition progress, which is the new button, this will then allow you to play about with the speed and it will also give you a nice smooth curve. And the first thing is to have a look and make sure that you have the sync cursor. This will allow you to preview onto here rather than not being able to see the changes. So once you've done that, let's say that you wanted this line to be nice and smooth. What you can do is you can right click on here on this keyframe, the one underneath it, and you can either have it on linear, smooth, fast, slow, sharp, hold. And you can even have the two new ones that have been added, the Bezier curve locked, and then the Bezier curved split. So let's say we're going to go with a nice smooth fade. You can see that this line will now make it a lot more smoother going from one to another. The next change is to do with the Vegas hub. So if you go over to the Vegas hub, you will notice if you are logged out, all you gotta do is just log in. The improvement is if you go over to the hub explorer, you will now see that there is a file drop and Vegas projects. So these two features will allow you to use the cloud to share files between you, your editors, and the people who are filming your videos. We can right click on here and create ourselves a new file drop. With this file drop, let's call this work and press okay. 
So once you've created the file, this will load up the file drop. You then have the option to add yourself participants who you want to share this folder with. So for the example of this, let's say we're going to share this with Steve. I'm just going to use my own email for the example. And let's say they've got about four days to give us some footage for the video. You can also get yourself a notification if you want to. So this will tell, tell you when the file has been uploaded. However, I'm just going to send the invitation and then wait for it to process. Once the email has been sent, they will receive something like this and they can click on the upload files, go on to the next page. And then all they need to do now is simply drag the materials onto here to upload it to the cloud. So if you don't have this feature, you won't be able to use it. But if you do, then you can upload it onto here. And then once you open up Vegas again, you can close this down, open this up, make sure you are selecting the work and then click on refresh. And this will then reload this page and allow you to see which file you've just uploaded or which file they've uploaded. The next improvement is the support for VST free. This is the latest version of it. And if you wanted to, let's say, get yourself a audio noise remover and you wanted the visuals, you can import a plugin, which will allow you to control the audio. So what you would need to do is you would first of all, install yourself the program, which you'll be using. So I'll be using this one right here. We're going to run the installation, get it installed onto your system. You would continue and agree to it. Install it onto your system. Click on finish. So once it's installed onto your system to use this feature or the plugin, you would get yourself the audio that you want to work on. You would go to options, go down to preferences, and then in here, go over to the VST effects. From here, you would click on add path, and then you would locate where it's been installed onto. So for me, by default, it's going to be on C drive. We're going to open up the program files. And then in here, you want to go to common files and you will see the VST free audio plugin. So you would go ahead and select the folder, click on OK, and then this will load it up into Vegas Pro. So as you can see, we now have the new video effects that have just been added. So from here, we can apply the changes, click on OK. And if we go over to the effects for the audio, so you can right click on here and go over to the audio event effects. You can have a look through and see that there is a new one called VST. And there you go. You have your new plugin, which you've just installed. So from here, let's say that you wanted to get yourself a wizard effects delay. You can go ahead and click OK, load it up, activate it, and then go ahead and mess about with the settings. So that is how you use the new VST free plugins. Moving on to the next feature, the next one is that Vegas Pro now supports Blackmagic RAW, which is a file format, and it also supports Apple ProRes. So if you get yourself a video, let's say, for example, we're going to get ourselves this video, and you want to go onto the render itself, once the window loads up, you will now see that there is Apple ProRes. The next one is, of course, the support for Blackmagic RAW. So if you've never heard of this before, if you don't know where it is, it's pretty much a format which allows you to have extremely big file sizes. So if I open this up, you will see that there is a Blackmagic RAW file right here. But now you can left click, drag this into Vegas Pro. And then once it's loaded, as you can see, we now have the video imported. And if we have a look at this on full screen, you can see that the quality is just absolutely insane. The next improvement is all to do with the slow motion effect in Vegas Pro. If you get yourself a video imported and go over to the video tab, search for a slow motion effect, and then you want to go ahead and have a look at which part of your video you want it to start the slow motion. So for example of this video, I want it right about halfway. So you want to split it up and then apply the slow motion onto that clip. Now you'll notice straight away that the user interface is a little bit more different or the settings, 
The one that we want to focus on is the blending though, because the blending will allow you to have either blend or you can use the nearest frame. So in this case, we have the blend, which will use the optical flow blending, or you can use the nearest frame and this will just simply use the previous frame and then fit in an extra frame in between the previous and the next frame. This next feature is a motion blur effect. We now have motion blur in Vegas Pro. If you get yourself a clip once again and go back into the video effects, you can search for a motion blur. So here's an example. Let's say you've got yourself a video of someone cycling or someone on their bike. And at the moment they are in focus, but it looks a little bit plain and boring. So let's say we wanted to make him look like it's going a lot faster than he actually is. What we can do is we can get ourselves a motion blur and apply it onto our video. You will then have all of these options right at the top. So we're gonna set it to a normal fixed blur and we're going to go ahead and pick up the person just by sliding the minimum down to something like 21. Once you start to increase the blur amount, you will notice straight away that the person will now become blurry, as you can see. If yours didn't pick up, let's say for example, it was something like this, then this is why you would adjust the threshold to a much better number, for example, 0 0.29. However, if you still can't see it, you can always go down to the visualization and then show the visualization either with this one, with the blur mask, or even the highlight motion. And if we have a look at the video, you can see we now have motion to the person moving. And that's pretty much it. That is Vegas Pro 20. That is the improvements, the features, and the changes overall to the program.